so now i would like to explain the question related to mtech structure engineering so the subject is related to matrix analysis of structures this question is related to matrix analysis of structures and i hope this question is important and uh, let me meet this question in this semester so what is the question here is explain the beams on elastic foundation by stiffness method so this is a diagram related to the elastic foundation beams on elastic foundation by stiffness method so now what is the basic concept here the beam lies on elastic foundation where under the applied external loads the reaction forces of the foundation are proportional at every point of deflection of the beam at this point so here the load is acting in the point f that is the load at point f it is acting downwards and next one reaction r of x and the horizontal direction x and vertical direction y and the point a at the nodal point and next one the assumption was first introduced by winkler in 1867 the figure 1 indicates the beam on elastic foundation once you take a brief look on the figure so this is the figure and next one this is the cross sectional view and this is the plane of symmetry and the figure one indicates is the beam on elastic foundation and moving to the next point so consider a straight beam supported along its entire length by an elastic medium on subject to vertical forces acting in the plane of symmetry of the cross section figure 1 so next one because of the external loadings the beam will deflect producing continuously distributed reaction forces in the supporting medium the intensity of this reaction force at any point is proportional to the deflection of the beam y of x at this point via the constant k so r of x equal to k into y of x so here we have the point uh, y of x and uh, this is r of x right and the reactions act vertically and opposing the deflection of the beam hence where the deflection is acting downward there will be a compression in the supporting medium where the deflection happens to be upward in the supporting medium tension will be produced which is not possible in spite of all it is assumed that the supporting medium is elastic and is able to take up such tensile forces so now in the other words the foundation is made of material which follows hooke's law its elasticity is characterized by the force which distributed over a unit area will cause a unit deflection the force is constant of supporting medium is called the modulus of foundation that is kilonewton per meter square per meter assume that the beam under consideration has a constant cross section with constant width p which is supported by the foundation any deflection of this beam will cause a rotation equal to k not b in the foundation therefore the intensity of the distributed reaction per unit length of the beam will be r of x is equal to b into k not into y of x is equal to k into y of x where k equal to k not into b is the constant of the foundation known as winkler's constant that which affects the width of the beam and has dimension kilonewton per meter per meter so stiffness method beam on elastic foundation by stiffness method so the strain energy of the foundation under the beam or plate element is given by u equal to half into w into kw into d omega equal to half into d t into k t into d kf into d so that kf is the stiffness matrix of the winkler's foundation it elements are kf i j equal to half into integration of omega k n i into n i into d omega If the discretization discret if the discretization discretized foundation matrix are assembled to it kf equals summation of kf we found that for the whole winkler foundation so the stiffness matrix represented by kf is pairs and also bonded if the mesh is suitable number matrix kf can be directly added to the stiffness matrix structure represented by ks so the stiffness matrix of the whole system is k equal to kf plus ks If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. I will upload more videos regarding to matrix and substructures related to M-Technic structural engineering. Thank you.